Scientists at NASA had no idea what they were signing up for when they launched the state-of-the-art James Webb Space Telescope on the 25th of December 2021 from the Guiana Space Center. Astronomers were expecting to find clues for life in the atmosphere of distant planets and galaxies. But little did they know that the first images to arrive from the JWST will revolutionize the way we perceive outer space. The mysterious light detected by the incredibly powerful telescope in one of the images might just be the evidence we needed to confirm that another planet out there could have signs of life. A blazing gas giant shrouded in dusty red clouds has been revealed in unprecedented observations of a planet beyond our solar system. The observations, which astronomers said marked a historic moment for astronomy, are the first direct images of a planet beyond our solar system by NASA's $10 billion or 8.65 billion pounds James Webb Space Telescope. They are also the first images of an exoplanet using infrared light, which gives a far more precise indication of a planet's mass and temperature and will allow astronomers to detect the movement of clouds drifting across the planet's sky. This is really a historic moment for astronomy, said Professor Sasha Hinckley, an astronomer based at the University of Exeter, who co-led the observations. James Webb is going to open the door to a whole new class of planets that have been completely out of reach to us and by observing them at a broad range of wavelengths, we can study their compositions in a much more in-depth way. We will be able to detect the presence of weather. Directly imaging exoplanets is a huge technical challenge because the host star is so much brighter. The focus of the latest observations, HIP 65426b, is a gas giant about 5 to 10 times the mass of Jupiter located 385 light years from Earth in the Centaurus constellation. The latest observations put the planet's atmospheric temperature at roughly 1,300 degrees Celsius or 2,370 degrees Fahrenheit and suggest its atmosphere contains red-hued clouds of silicate dust. It would be a terrible place to live, said Hinckley. You'd be roasted alive if you could float around in the atmosphere. Previously, astronomers have obtained direct images of 20 or so exoplanets, including HIP 65426b, using ground-based telescopes. But this meant contending with noise introduced by the Earth's atmosphere and restricted observations to a narrow range of visible wavelengths. By contrast, the latest images captured from the cold, airless environment of space span a wide range of wavelengths, including the infrared, which accounts for the most of the light produced in the planet's atmosphere. The best wavelength to observe a planet is the one at which it produces the most intrinsic light because this is directly tied to the temperature of the planet, said Dr. Bath Miller, a co-principal investigator and an astronomer at the University of Edinburgh. HIP 65426b is only 10 to 20 million years old, far younger than the 4.5 billion year old Earth. And the latest observations give new insights into how Jupiter and Saturn may have looked in their infancy. Dr. Vivian Parmentier, an associate professor in physics at the University of Oxford, who was not involved in the latest work, said, Opening a new window into the universe always brings us surprises. Planets form big and contract with time, and this baby planet seems to have shrunk faster than we have expected. This gives us amazing insights into how planets form and how our own solar system form. 
in the future. The James Webb is expected to make detailed observations of more Earth-like distant planets, including those with potentially habitable conditions. Other than that, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured the distinct signature of water, along with evidence for clouds and haze in the atmosphere surrounding a hot, puffy gas giant planet orbiting a distant sun-like star. The observation, which reveals the presence of specific gas molecules based on tiny decreases in the brightness of precise colors of light, is the most detailed of its kind to date, demonstrating Webb's unprecedented ability to analyze atmospheres hundreds of light years away. While the Hubble Space Telescope has analyzed numerous exoplanet atmospheres over the past two decades, capturing the first clear detection of water in 2013, Webb's immediate and more detailed observation marks a giant leap forward in the quest to characterize potentially habitable planets beyond Earth. WASP-96b is one of the more than 5,000 confirmed exoplanets in the Milky Way. Located roughly 1,150 light-years away in the southern sky constellation Phoenix, it represents a type of gas giant that has no direct analog in our solar system. With a mass less than half that of Jupiter and a diameter 1.2 times greater, WASP-96b is much more puffier than any other planet orbiting our Sun. And with a temperature greater than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it is significantly hotter. WASP-96b orbits extremely close to its sun-like star, just one-ninth of the distance between Mercury and the Sun, completing one circuit every three and a half Earth days. The combination of large size, short orbital period, puffy atmosphere, and lack of contaminating light from objects nearby in the sky makes WASP-96b an ideal target for atmospheric observations. On June 21, Webb's Near-Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, or NIRISS, measured light from the WASP-96b system for 6.4 hours as the planet moved across the star. The result is a light curve showing the overall dimming of starlight during the transit and a transmission spectrum revealing the brightness change of individual wavelengths of infrared light between 0.6 and 2.8 microns. While the light curve confirms properties of the planet that had already been determined from other observations, the existence, size, and orbit of the planet, the transmission spectrum reveals previously hidden details of the atmosphere, the unambiguous signature of water, indications of haze, and evidence of clouds that were thought not to exist based on prior observations. A transmission spectrum is made by comparing starlight filtered through a planet's atmosphere as it moves across the star to the unfiltered starlight detected when the planet is beside the star. Researchers are able to detect and measure the abundances of key gases in the planet's atmosphere based on the absorption pattern, the locations and heights of peaks on the graph. In the same way that people have distinctive fingerprints and DNA sequences, atoms and molecules have characteristic patterns of wavelengths that they absorb. The spectrum of WASP-96b captured by Webb's NIRISS is not the only most detailed near-infrared transmission spectrum of an exoplanet atmosphere captured to date, but it also covers a remarkably wide range of wavelengths, including visible red light in a portion of the spectrum that has not previously been accessible from other telescopes, such as wavelengths longer than 1.6 microns. This part of the spectrum is particularly sensitive to water, as well as other key molecules like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are not immediately obvious in the WASP-96b spectrum, but which should be detectable in other exoplanets planned for observation by Webb. Researchers will be able to use this spectrum to measure the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, 
constrain the abundance of various elements like carbon and oxygen and estimate the temperature of the atmosphere with depth. They can use this information to make inferences about the overall makeup of the planet, as well as how, when, and where it formed. The blue line on the graph is the best fit model that takes into the account the data, the known properties of WASP-96b and its star, example its size, mass, and temperature, and assume characteristics of the atmosphere. The exceptional detail and clarity of these measurements is possible because of Webb's state-of-the-art design. Its 270-square-foot gold-coated mirror collects infrared light efficiently. Its precision spectrographs spread light out into rainbows of thousands of infrared colors. And its sensitive infrared detectors measure extremely subtle differences in brightness. NIRISS is able to detect color differences of only about one thousandth of a micron. The difference between green and yellow is about fifty thousandths of a micron. And differences in the brightness between those colors of a few hundred parts per million. In addition, Webb's extreme stability and its orbital location around Lagrange Point 2 or L2, roughly a million miles away from the contaminating effects of the Earth's atmosphere, makes for an uninterrupted view and clean data that can be analyzed relatively quickly. The extraordinarily detailed spectrum made by simultaneously analyzing 280 individual spectra captured over the observation provides just a hint of what Webb has in store for exoplanet research. Over the coming year, researchers will use spectroscopy to analyze the surfaces and atmospheres of several dozen exoplanets, from small rocky planets to gas and ice-rich giants. Nearly one quarter of Webb's Cycle 1 observation time is allocated to studying exoplanets and the materials that form them. This NIRISS observation demonstrates that the web has the power to characterize the atmospheres of exoplanets, including those of potentially habitable planets, in exquisite detail.